Nice to see some some Montrealers joining us. Set up your candles. Some very special things planned for this service. Shalom. Welcome. So good to have you here, to be here together in this way. And you can get your candlesticks ready because in a moment, it looks like Beth has already lit over there, but in a moment, uh, we are going to light candles. But before we do, I want to share a very special video with you all. If you would do the honors, Tyler. And let's get the vi the sound on. Try again. We can't hear the sound, Tyler. Olam <laughs> has sent us socks that we have brought to you. Oh, thank you so much. Our children will greatly appreciate these. Thank you. Thank you from Memorial Restorative Center. Thank you so much for your donation. Our children are going to be thrilled with these new clean warm socks. Thank you from the Lamoille Family Center. Um, we don't want anyone to go cold, um, and this will be a huge, a huge help um, as we make sure that people have their basic needs met. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the socks. These will come in really handy for our children. Thank you so much. Thank you from Capstone Community Action. Thank you so much, Bombas, for doing this. This is a huge help to our students, and we really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Bombas. I will build this world from love. Na -na -na. If you hadn't seen that movie video, now you have and spread the light for all uh, the 
warmth that is being spread around and a yesher koach to Emily and uh, folks at JCOGS and all of you who uh, donated to the fund. Uh, we, uh, the community appreciates it and it's, it, is, it is heartwarming and feet warming, the work that we're doing. So we are meant during the week to do good works and then to enter into Shabbat and take a break from repairing the world just to enjoy what is. So let's light candles together and bring in Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kidashanu bemitzvotam Betsivanu lehad liknet Lehad liknet shel Shabbat Shalom! Shabbat Shalom! And you can unmute yourself and wish each other Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom! From the Goldstein family. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hey, Sarah. Hi. Hey, Owen. Yeah. Say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. 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 shalom and Shabbat shalom and Chodesh Tov. We are officially have entered the month of Adar. And this is the first of Adar. And this month. And this season, uh, we talk about how the world is flipped upside down. And boy, does it feel like it sometimes that the world is upside down. Uh, but we greet it with joy. So let's let's greet it with joy with these with these words. Misha nichna sadar. When the month of Adar comes, marbim besimcha, our joy increases. Mishem, 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 Oh, God damn. 
saw a uh, correlation in that song, that prayer between uh, those who meditate and those who clap. And I don't know if it's the meditation that does it, it just brings out clapping. Uh, <clears throat> like what is the sound of one hand clapping? I had to make that Zen meditation pun. Uh, or, yeah. <laughs> Or is it just the people in the spirit? Take your cue, folks. All right, now we have the words uh, in the in pasted already uh, in the chat box, and we're going to sing Lechadodi. Before we do, let's take a moment, think about the week that we've had individually, collectively, and just collect our thoughts. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Full of handlers and a happiness of Yasko's here. So we joined together with the Barchu, that prayer of community, who is here with us, paying attention, taking note <clears throat> to the happiness of community, what brings us together. <laughs> Dolam, 
בית ישראל, עמך אהבת. תורה ומצוות, חוקים ומשפטים, אותנו לימדת. בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצווך היום על לבביך ושיננת העם לבניך ודיברת בם ושבתך בביתך ולכתך בדרך שופך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך, והיו לתותפות בין עיניך, וכתבתם על מזו ביתך, ובישריך. If you will faithfully observe the commandments which I command you this day, to love the Lord your God and to serve, God, with all your heart and all your soul, then I will favor your land with rain at the proper season, in autumn and in spring, and you will harvest your grain and wine and oil. I will give grass to the fields for the cattle. You will eat and be satisfied. Ahani Adonai Eloichem שרציתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם אדוני אלוהיכם אמן ומלכותו ברצון קיבלו עליהם משה ומרים ובני ישראל לך אנו שירה בשמחה רבה ואמרו כולם join me for me חמוכה מי כמוך באלים אדוני, מי כמוך נדר בקודש, נורא תהילות אוסף אלה, מלכותך ראו בניך, פוקע ים לפני משה, זה אלי אנו ואמרו אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד, ונאמר כי ודע אדוני אס יעקב, וגאלו מיד חזק ממנו, ברוך אתה אדוני, קהל ישראל. 
I'm going to turn it over now to the incredible Rachel Funk, who is, uh, who is batting cleanup in this series of Hushki Venu prayer reflections. We have journeyed from Claudia to Aaron Temkin to Willa Bruckner to Susan Buckner to uh, now Rachel Funk over these many Shabbatot uh, to bring us a reflection on this prayer of safety and security, one that shields us from plague as it did for our ancestors. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Um, to me, the Hashkivenu prayer symbolizes the essence of Shabbat, a yearning to rest and to be at peace so we can return to ourselves and our lives renewed. There are many different melodies to Hashkivenu and many beautiful and creative interpretations. I chose to sing this ver version written by Danny Messing and taught to me by my mother because in its own way, it embodies the spirit of this prayer. It's soothing, uplifting melody, wrapping us in its sound, sheltering us in a blanket of peace. Thank you. Such a sense of peace coming from that. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom. With that beautiful melody stirring us, calming our souls, we will take a moment now in, in quiet prayer. I invite you to uh, take a few moments away from your screen. Close your eyes, look away, find another spot, grab your, your Siddur for prayer and the prayers of the heart. And we'll join back together again in a few moments. Find your way, find your prayer.
say a prayer for healing for those in body or spirit who are in need. You can add the names of those in need of healing, whether in body or spirit, there in the chat box. May the source of strength, who bless the ones before us, help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing, and let us say, Amen. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, bless and heal all those named here, all those in our hearts. U David ben Chayo bin Yamin, Avram ben Mordechai ben Rachel, Beltasor ben Moshe Chaim ben Mindale, Yehudit ben Ratzi ben Ovadia, Yehudit, Devola Lieberman, Linda Schiller, Carly Friedman, Yontan ben Hodel, Barbara Gurk, Sarah Howell, Evan Manolis, Mario Sr., Avram ben Chana, Ushmuel, Chaya Gila Badyonina, Lauren and Stephen Beck. Along with all the ill among us, grant insight to those who bring healing, courage and faith to those who are sick, love and strength to us, to all who love them. God, let your spirit rest upon all who are ill and comfort them. May they and we know a time of complete healing, a healing of the body, a healing of the spirit, speedily and soon. Let us say, Amen. Mi shebeirach imoteinu mekor habracha lavoteinu Bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema The renewal of body, the renewal of spirit And let us say Amen. We bless all those who are in need of healing. We bless you who support them. And we invite any simchas, anything good in your lives from the past week or weeks that you'd like to share. Patty, we are so blessed. Six months appointment and a Clean bill of health. Poo, poo, poo. Such good news. Bobby says that Beth and Moni came to visit. Debbie just wrote that Steve just goy. <laughs> I know it's wrong, but I had to say it because... <laughs> uh, Susan said she lit Shabbat candles with my daughter tonight, how wonderful. And got to snowshoe. 
Jaycogs brought almost 900 pairs of socks to schools and organizations this week to give to people in need. Just amazing. Really good socks, too. Such an amazing thing. And one of my photographs says, uh, Mr. Dunn received an honorable mention at the 2020 uh, Tokyo Photo Awards this week. Wow, very cool. Share the link, please, if you haven't yet. Uh, it didn't come through. And snowshoeing in beautiful Vermont, finishing another trip around the sun this week. Mazel tov to Beth. Yom Huledet Sameach. We got a lot tonight. Raising money for giving socks. A new grandson for and and getting to visit that grandson, Amy Rosenthal. Steve got vaccinated. Fantastic. And he didn't get goy. He got vaccinated. <laughs> and uh and uh, many other simchas. Anything else? I'm very excited. Next, next Friday night, we're going to be celebrating with two different couples. Uh, uh, one of whom is here, Joel and Ronnie. Uh, they're off roof uh, next Friday night. And then Ben and Katie also. Uh, followed by a week of, of chuppahs uh, at Jacob's. So very exciting. Um, lots of good things there. <coughs> um, good. Uh, may we only know simchas. A prayer for Israel. Rock and redeemer of the people of Israel. Bless Israel in its pursuit of a flowering of redemption. Send your light and your wisdom to Zion's leaders and advisors and help them with your good counsel. Strengthen the hands of all who work towards safety, justice, and democracy, crowning their efforts with success. Shield the land with your love and spread over it your shelter of peace. May the time be near when all its inhabitants and neighbors dwell together in security and everlasting peace. And let us say, Amen. And a prayer for our countries. I'm going to read it how Marvin Rosenblum would like us to read it every week. See if you can catch the difference. Our God and God of all peoples, bless and watch over our countries, Canada and the United States of America. Bless our diverse inhabitants equally in the light of your presence, that we might build together a society based upon principles of tolerance, justice, and compassion. Inspire our leaders with your good counsel that they may act wisely for the good of all our citizens and all peace-loving people throughout the world. May peace and security prevail within our borders and beyond, and let us say, Amen. Let's sing a prayer for peace together. Olam chesed yibane. Olam chesed yibane.
Shabbat Shalom. Do you remember, because I don't, but maybe you do, when humankind first landed on the moon? What did that feel like? What did that look like? How did your perception of reality change? What a moment in human history. Ingenuity is a powerful thing. We are now halfway through our book of Exodus. So much ingenuity. We have created a family of people in the book of Bereshit, Genesis, launching our way into the world. We have created a nation and come out of slavery in Shemot, in Exodus. We're about to create a tabernacle, a place for worship. Each step along the way, another ingenious creation. But perhaps the most ingenious of all human creations, and this might get you thinking, perhaps the most ingenious of all is written law. Law. Mishpatim, our Torah portion for this week. The Ele HaMishpatim Asher Tasim Lifnehem, these are the rules, these are the laws that you shall set before them. So says God to Moses, and off we go into a parsha that is filled with law after law after law. <clears throat> laws are the cornerstone of our lives would keep us together as a society. They're not always just, as in our Parsha when it says, Vechiim kor ish et bito le'ama, when a man sells his daughter as a slave. Well, what is a man doing selling their daughter as a slave? And then it says, Here's the law. She shall not be freed as male slaves are. <gasps> she doesn't get to be free. What's going on here? Some laws, slavery, some laws, sexism, are bad. <clears throat> so then, also today, not all laws across time have been just or are just even today. But they often are. As with the Ten Commandments, those ten laws, prescriptions, the foundation of society then emerged and now enshrined. Ten Commandments we read in last week's Parsha Yitro, the cornerstone of our society, the basis of a moral life, of how we interact with each other, relationship. Good laws protect the most vulnerable. Veger lo tone. You shall not oppress a stranger or oppress, you shall not wrong a stranger or oppress him, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. You shall not ill treat any widow or orphan. If you do mistreat them, watch out. God's law is about to, to be wrought. I will heed their outcry, says God, as soon as they cry out to me. And my anger shall blaze forth, and I will put you to the sword. Law 
can be harsh, but it can be just. But they need to be applied justly. They need to be applied as they are meant to be. In our Torah portion, it says, Lo tate mishpat evyoncha berivo. You shall not subvert the rights of your needy in their disputes. It also says, keep far from a false charge. Do not bring death on those who are innocent and in the right, for I will not acquit the wrongdoer. Laws must be brought justly. So too for judges, do not take bribes, for bribes blind the clear-sighted and upset the pleas of those who are in the right. And again, over and over, you shall not oppress a stranger. That is a law, mishpat, for you know the feelings of the stranger, having yourself been strangers in the land of Egypt. You shall not render an unfair decision. Do not favor the poor or show deference to the rich. Betzedek tishpot amitecha. Judge with righteousness your friends, your neighbors, your fellow citizens. With the right laws and laws that are done right, we have the cornerstone of a society. Chew on that. Mishpatim, law after law. May there be nothing better, there may be nothing better for a, for a society than good laws that are righteously carried out by witness, judge, and jury. And so my blessing is that the law of this land, the law of all lands, be one that is righteous, that works for all, that takes care of the vulnerable, and that effectively and justly tries those who are on trial. Shabbat Shalom. We come to the Aleinu prayer. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol L'atet g'dula l'yotze b'reishit Sh'lo asanu im goye haratzot Velo samanu im ishpechot adama Sh'lo sam chelkenu im ahem Vegohor aleinu kechol amonam Vanachnu korim umishtachavim umodim Lifnei melech malchei hamlachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu Venemar vehaya Adonai Lemelech al kol haaretz Bayom hahu Bayom hahu Iye Adonai echad Ushemo 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 echad. <clears throat> this week in the life of our congregation, we remember Anne Bayer, mother of Susan Bayer Fishman, Arthur Zellman, father of Rick Zellman, Francis Rosenblatt, mother of Jackie Zellman, David Tunick, son of James Tunick, Harry Moses Lazar, father of Rhoda Pinsky, Irving E. Gordon, father of Deborah Sherman, Jenny Rosenthal, grandmother of Amy Rosenthal, John Goldstein, brother and brother-in-law of Charles Goldstein and Julia, Monty Aaron Feinstein, 
father of Ronald Feinstein, and Clara Cohen Link, great grandmother of Allison Link. And as in the chat box, we remember Sidney Goldstein. For those in mourning, observing your site, you may wish to rise for the mourner's Kaddish, the words of which will be in the chat box. We remember Jackson Bueller. Mourner's Kaddish. Yit gadal, yit kadash, shamei raba. Ve alma divra chirute, ve amlich malchute. Ve chaye chon, uvyome chon, uchaye de chol beit Yisrael. Ba gala, vizman kari vimru, amen. Yehe shmei raba, mevorach la lam alme almaya. Yit barach, vish tabach, vit paar, vit romam, vit nase. Vit hadar, vit ale, vit alal, shmei de kudsha, brichu. Le ela, min kol birchata, veshirata, tush bechata, venechemata, da miran, velma, imru, amen. Yehe shalama raba min shamaya, vechayim alenu, vel ko Yisrael, vimru, amen. O se shalom bimromav. Hu yaseh shalom aleinu v'al ko Yisrael v'al ko Yishvei Tevel. Yimru, amen. May their memories be for a blessing, for a blessing. And some announcements, starting with ways you can help and resources. The Everyone Eats program offers free delicious frozen meals and multiple locations in Lamoille County from Lamoille Community Food Chair, the Woolkit United uh, Methodist Church, Lamoille Health Family Medicine and Copley Hospital um, at various times. And that was in our weekly email for those in need or for uh, if you know those in need, please forward on that information. <laughs> um, tomorrow morning, Kinderlach and Gesher meets to uh, to get us started in a dar and to celebrate Purim. We are going to get a dar started on the right foot, uh, get the joy going tomorrow morning, 9.30. And did you hear? I heard that Esther and Morty might make an appearance. So come find out. Uh, grandparents are invited too. And uh, tomorrow afternoon, evening, six o'clock, a Teed online Purim fun. Uh, a Teed teens are getting together for some fun. Uh, and Purimi kinds of good things. Um, on Sunday, all right, Beth. <laughs> you are in the spirit. I love it. <clears throat> so uh, on Sunday, how to write a Devar Torah for our mitzvah uh, youth who always, who, who always uh, bring their great wisdom. And so that's four o'clock with our mitzvah class. Our parents are meeting for a, for a parent check-in uh, after the class around five o'clock, parent meeting. Uh, and on Monday, we have our poetry program. I heard a few of you missed it last month. Come on back, uh, poetry program. Four o'clock Monday. Uh, the last one I went to was definitely one of the highlights of my winter so far. It was so lovely. It was so lovely. Uh, bring a poem uh, that you love or that you wrote or that you wrote and love uh, and you'll get to share it. Maybe there'll be some Purim themed ones. Wednesday for all the clappers uh, morning meditation, 10 a.m. Olam Chesed meets at 4 o'clock. 
and on Wednesday also. Hey, next Shabbat, next Saturday. Can you believe, by the way, that these things are all happening between now and next Shabbat? Next Saturday uh, night, we are having an amazing uh, service. Uh, Saturday morning, sorry. Saturday morning, 10 o'clock. Uh, we have 15 people uh, who are going to lane, who are going to read and chant Torah. Uh, we have our mitzvah students who are going to be leading the service. Uh, and this is a community affair, uh, not to be missed. Also, next Friday we meet, and uh, next Friday uh, we are celebrating two upcoming simchas of the Ofruf, Ben and Katie and Joel and Ronnie. Um, very exciting. And the following Friday, we have a Purim party presentation uh, brought to you by the Ritual team. And uh, so uh, that'll be in costume. Um, so get ready for that. Um, all right. I think that's enough. Get your, uh, get your grape juice, get your wine, get your sippy cup. <laughs> Jared's giving directions. Sippy cup, sippy cup. <laughs> and there we go. There we go. All right. Let's make kiddush. Get your challah is next, so get that on board. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kitshanu Mitzvotav Eratzavanu Veshabbat Kodsho Be'ava Uvratzon Hinchilanu Zikaron Lemaase Bereishit Ki hu yom tehila le mikra e kodesh, zecher le tziat mitzrayim. Ki vanu vacharta, yotanu ki dashta, im kohol hamim, ve shabbat kochecha be ahava uvratzon, in chaltanu, baruchata adonai. Mekadesh HaShabbat Amen Rechaim Blink Okay Show off your challah An exaltation of Emily Has got one Bobby has got one. I see a, a mana, mana of Chala over there with the Tobins, uh, the Schneppos. I think that's a Bruckner Chala. Double, double Chala, double the trouble. One for each. Who else? Anyone else? Oh, Bet. Kola Kavod. Very nice. We got some Hirsch. Adar and Yonachala and the Ericsons. Very nice. Okay. Lila, no vegan chala today? No? Okay. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. Okay. Someone's got to get Edi Svas some chala. This, this is important. Okay. Let's make Hamotzi and. Uh, um, Bobby, would you be so willing to <clears throat> unmute yourself and... Okay. Ew. Let's see, I'm a little rusty. Baruch atah anai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kamotzi lechem min haaretz. Amen. Beteavon. I think the amount of chalas has been increasing. I'm very impressed, everybody. All right. 
Think about something in the service you'd like to carry into the rest of your Shabbat. And feel free to stay after and join us for a little schmooze. Shabbat Shalom.